Weaving has been done by almost every culture on the planet. This craft is part of our human cultural inheritance, part of our human experience, part of our basic knowing. We are surrounded by cloth and clothing from the moment of birth till after death. We are all intimately connected to textiles. When we think about how weaving has accompanied human cultures as cloth and clothing, since before recorded time and throughout recorded time, one begins to realize what a constant, continuous partner weaving is to culture. Weaving is universal. The same basic technique used for tapestry, called plain weave or tabby, is the basis for all weaving everywhere. Weaving is a universal connector of human cultures, an intercultural and intergenerational connector. Art historians generally attribute weaving to the ancient Egyptians at 3500 BC and to ancient Peruvians at 10,000 BC, yet spun, dyed, and woven fragments have been recently discovered in caves in Russia that carbon date from 24,000 BC to 34,000 BC. We are just beginning to rediscover and reconstruct a more accurate history of textiles. My name is Tama Ewan, and I've been designing and weaving tapestries for over 40 years. Since 1999, I've been collaborating with textile artist Gabby Ewan, my daughter Gabrielle, to build and develop Moonrain Centers programs and projects. Moonrain is located in the Gatineau Hills, north of Ottawa, the capital of Canada, in the Outaouais region of West Quebec. Moonrain is dedicated to interweaving textile art and community. Moonrain specializes in collaborative textile art projects in which the public participates to create its own work of permanent textile art. We also direct Artists in the Schools projects. Moonrain has taught basic tapestry weaving to literally thousands of school children across Quebec, reintroducing the word weaving back into school children's vocabulary. When we consider the decline of the crafts over the last decades with the advent of technology and globalization, I feel that it is extremely important to foster awareness and understanding of the crafts and to encourage a new generation of weavers. Over the last decade at Moonrain Centre, Gabby and I have embarked on the most significant project of our working collaboration, which is the establishment of the International Textile Arts Symposium, La Triennale Internationale des Arts Textiles en Outaouais. Our fourth edition will take place in 2019. The Triennale is a multifaceted symposium which includes several components, exhibitions, outdoor textile arts installation in situ, films, workshops, conferences, and collective projects. Exhibitions are organized in collaboration with our Outaouais regions public art galleries, museums, and exhibition centers. The Triennale has successfully demarginalized professional textile arts in our region. Each Triennale has presented a roster of world-class exhibitions. The 2016 edition of La Triennale presented 15 exhibitions. We have worked to establish ongoing collaborations with art centers, and with media partners, resulting in over 18,000 visitors to the total 2016 Triennale programming. By collaborating with the public art galleries and exhibition centers in our region, we have made textile art visible and acceptable as contemporary art. The media and public reaction has been so positive that the Outaouais region is becoming known as a cultural destination, known for our 
Root des Arts Textiles. Cultural tourism is a recognized positive benefit of the arts, stimulating economy so it is understood by politicians. There has been a unique, fortunate and happy collaboration between La Triennale and the directors and curators of the region's exhibition centres. Curators look forward to planning with us and enjoy the excellent attendance that each edition of the Triennale brings. La Triennale's Installation in situ take place along a 1.5 kilometer walking path at Moonrain Center. This aspect of La Triennale provides a residence experience for artists to create on site, working in and with nature. Artists work in pairs of one experienced artist collaborating with one emerging artist. Textile artists from different countries, backgrounds and cultures have the unique opportunity of exchange, interchange, feedback and learning and sharing while living on site at Moonrain Centre, surrounded by pristine and sometimes wild nature. Artists report that it is a unique experience that has opened personal creative horizons. Here are some examples of the installations in situ that have been created during the previous triennales. Triennale workshops have been an incubator for future textile artists. From one felting workshop given by England's Ali Rabjohns in 2010, three emerging Utaway artists found their creative medium. The Triennale has stimulated the teaching and practice of textile arts and has created a professional relève in textile arts and has become a major catalyst for the textile arts in our region and beyond. In the 2013 Triennale, Lucy Dufresne, late anthropology professor at University of Ottawa, gave a conference on Coptic textiles in conjunction with an exhibition of Dirk Holger's collection of Coptic tapestry fragments from the 6th to the 12th centuries which took place at the Mississippi Valley Textile Museum in Elmont. As part of La Triennale 2016, we presented Kirsten Lindstrom of Sweden's monumental collective knitting project, Own Our Own Time 5, in which 84 knitters knit in a connected circle outdoors on site at Moonrain Centre. Moonrain Centre is recognised internationally as an innovative leader in collaborative textile art projects that creatively empower communities, such as the Vision Weave project. In the Vision Weave project, the community participates to co-create its own work of textile art while expressing a vision for the future of the planet, for community, and for life on the planet. These projects have the profound effect of literally weaving the community together. It is remarkable that most of the messages or visions that people interweave into these projects include the phrase, peace on earth. These projects tell me that we are all thinking the same thing. We all want peace. Whether the project is done in a museum, a school, a community center, a library, a municipal city hall, or outdoors in a public street festival, whether the project is done in Canada or in Europe, the message is clear. Everywhere, people want peace. 
Moonrise Center also works with the Culture in the Schools program, directing Artists in the Schools projects all over Quebec, and has worked with literally thousands of school children. Every student in each school from all grades participates in these projects. And most important for young people, we are creating a vital link between textile art, visioning, and community activism. There are two concepts that nourish and inspire my work at Moon Rain Center. The first is that weaving is a global contemporary metaphor for the interconnections and interreactions between all living systems of our biosphere. Weaving is a symbol for cooperation and collaboration. It is a contemporary metaphor for the working together that creates community. The second concept is that weaving transmits the energy of peace. This ancient indigenous belief is actually very easy to understand because in weaving, every movement is followed by its opposite. You go over, under, under, over, left, right, right, left, up, down, in and out. This constant repetition of every movement followed by its opposite while using both left and right hands equally, uses both sides of the brain equally. This has a balancing effect on left and right brain functioning. While weaving, this constant repetition of opposite movements while using both hands equally actually creates balance, harmony, or peace in the brain, and so in the weaver, which is then transmitted to the viewer. This is why many First Nations cultures believe weaving to be a sacred path, because it literally transmits the energy of peace. The Navajo weavers have a song or chant that they have sung through millennia while weaving. Their weaver's chant or mantra translates, With me there is beauty, in me there is beauty, from me radiates beauty. To the Navajo, the word beauty means balance, harmony, and peace. In conclusion, I once heard that art is made of three things, truth, beauty, and love. It is a pleasure to be participating in the 7th World Textile Arts Symposium, where these three very necessary things are present. Thank you for inviting me.